Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome back to a timeless pick a card reading. Today we're going to take a look at the topic the ego versus the heart or the heart versus the ego, something like that. What's the score? I thought that could be fun. In the jar we've got the usual handwritten quotes. Now these I wrote weeks and weeks ago. I have no idea what's in here. I wrote them many weeks ago and on the weekend I sat and I cut them all and I folded them all and I think there are over 50, not in this jar, there's a whole bunch in a box so we'll just get through all of these. And the other thing I wanted to share with you is that I am going to be selling some of my tarot cards that I have been using. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I'm getting organized for the time when I fly back to England which should be early next year and I'm looking at my shelf of stuff and I'm realizing that to transport all of this back is going to be a bit tricky. So what I'm going to do, I'm not selling all my cards, I'm just selling a few of them. So this is one of the sample decks that I will be selling. I love this deck and I have used it many times. It's absolutely beautiful. But I've just, I've chosen, I think a handful of decks that I want to move on because also I've got several decks arriving of my own Vedic astrology deck. Okay, so I've got a bunch of these arriving in the post soon. So that's why I want to sell some so that I've got space on my shelf and equally so that I won't be transporting too many things back to England when that time comes. So you can hop on my website, have a look. Basically, I'm selling all these decks uh, at a discounted price. So I've put the price that I purchased these at and I'm just going to sell them for very heavily discounted price. I had a look at amazon.co.uk uh, for example and you can buy this cheaper than what I can sell it for. Isn't that amazing? Like even with my heavy discount there's going to be about say £12 postage. I've just put a flat rate of £12 postage on the website. So now if you're buying from Australia and you know like it probably won't be £12, I'll just calculate whatever shipping it is and I can refund you. Equally you don't have to purchase on the website, you can just email me and say yes I would like that deck. But I think global postage from Australia a £12 flat rate fee is okay. And the other thing I'm going to do to make, you know, buying from me more valuable than buying from Amazon is that I'm going to do a three card tarot pull per sale and I will handwrite a reading for you and include that as part of your package. Okay, so you're going to get a little free mini reading from me anyway. So, and I mean, the prices are really, really, really cheap. Or the best I can do kind of thing. So they're all discounted. It's just the postage. You'll see the postage cost from Australia. I'm pretty sure I've got it as a flat fee of £12. That should cover postage nicely for United States and United Kingdom because most of you guys are in those countries and of course India as well. So um, now the other thing is that I am selling this okay and th this will be the only copy of its kind in the world because the version that is now coming to me that I've ordered it doesn't have the signature there I think it's just got by vediclifecoach.co.uk and on the back here it's got um, some information. So the other thing is that the colors have been updated in the new deck and yeah it is and there are some typos that have been uh, approved. Now one of you did send me an email this was some time ago and you had written to me and you said look I really want to buy this and I've been looking in my I've been searching in my email inbox to try and find you um, you know in order for me to email you and say hey you can buy it now um, but I'm sorry I can't find your email I get too many emails so um, well, well this is the best I can do. This is Everyone's getting an equal shot now at, at buying this. This will be the only kind in the world of, of this deck. Um, I have the original files, I can print another one for myself but I, I don't need to do that you know and uh, yeah it's gonna be sad to, to let it go but well there it is. I've loved this so much and someone else I hope will, will love it a lot as well. And of course I will do a three card pull and write you a little mini 
uh, reading if, if you do decide to buy it. The other one that I am going to do as well is the Stoic Tarot uh, as well. So, you know, if anybody wants um, to purchase this. Oh, there's the Emperor. I was hoping to show everybody the Emperor last time. Um, but yeah, th this, this I'm going to be selling as well. This I will be using on the channel. I was thinking maybe should I use it today? I don't know. I'll, I'll see if I'm inspired. I might use it today. Who knows? But this is also going to be on there. So come on the website, have a look, see what's there. If there's something that you like, as I say, I'm making a loss on every single one of these decks. Um, this, in fact, uh, it cost me um, to buy. Now I've got the retail price on there. I think it's about sixty-two pounds. I actually purchased this for I think it was one hundred and twenty Aussie dollars. Uh, that's how much it costs for me with with postage. So one hundred and twenty-three something like that. I can't remember. These are expensive guys and you'll see when I launch these I'm going to share with you the MPC um, that's the company that I'm going to use I'm going to share with you you know how they do all their pricing and everything like that I'll show you what the process has been like everything so uh, this has been a lot of fun uh, as is this but th th this will be a f there will be an affordable version of this as well so don't worry I know some of you will be thinking oh that's far too expensive I can't spend that um, I totally get it I I've got some very affordable versions of this because what I've done is I separated the outer planets and the inner planets so you will be able to purchase one of these at a very affordable price and you can predict with the outer planets events and with the inner planets you can read someone's psychology okay so you can kind of just buy a smaller version like a half set is you know about 50 cards per uh, I'll, I'll share with you when I'm launching so that, that'll come further down the track all right guys well this has been a very long intro um, but yeah as always feel free to choose from group one, group two, or group three, and I will see you in your reading. Hi there, group one. If you chose group number one, then you are in the right place. Now I'm gonna shuffle these and, all right, we'll take that. <laughs> I'm gonna shuffle these and um, see what happens. So I was thinking, now what was I thinking? I was thinking the top one is going to be ego and then the bottom row is gonna be heart. And then how about, let's figure this out now together. So top is going to be ego, and then this card here will be ego, and then this card and whatever I draw on this side will be the heart. So how about we do that? So this is, we're drawing for what's going on with ego or mind, that kind of thing. Let's take that, that's sticking out. How are you? I hope your week is going good wherever you are. I have been so busy making tarot decks. It's been a lot of fun, but yeah, it's oh, super busy as well. Right, now let's take, what are we gonna, oh, where are those? Let's have three of these. So we're gonna have three for the heart. This is a new deck that I bought. This is stunning. Look at that golden universal tarot. Even the box is incredible. Oh, just love this. That's also one of the reasons why I'm selling some of my decks because there are two other ones that I want to buy. So that's kind of why I'm selling up some decks, getting ready as well for, you know, travel and all that. Okay, take that one. This reminds me, this design reminds me of, um, is it Versace? I don't know, there's these fancy plates that look pretty fancy. <laughs> They've got this kind of design. All right, so that's going to be the heart, I think, isn't it? And we're going to do one, four. Another one for the ego. And then we'll put our heart cards here. All right, so anything obvious? We just want one. Oh, oh, we've got... Let's take it. All right, let's take the lovers. Let's take, gosh, let's take the lovers. Should we take the Eight of Cups as well? Well, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Oh, and let's take this too. I don't know what it is. Let's see. All right, oh, excitement. Gee, group one, there's a lot of big energy here. Uh, and we'll take one for the heart from here. And, okay, that's the heart and another, heart type card from here okay right let's see what's going on okay 
So we've got, let's see these first since they have shown themselves. So we've got the Eight of Cups, which is walking away. This is the Six of Pentacles, which is even give and take. And we've got the Lovers here. All right. Okay, what should we put on top? I think I'm going to do it that way. Right. So we've got that little set there. We've got the Page of Swords, upright. They're all going to be upright. We've got Three of Pentacles. Yes, you are hard at work. You're working, you're busy. Seven of Pentacles and you're assessing. Maybe you're taking time to pause and assess. I'm also counting this side as ego as well. Maybe there's a bit of a debate between heart and mind between um, well between following the heart more let's see let's see what's going on with the heart you've got these cards right here all right death death and transformation yes you're going through a massive transformation it would seem when it comes to your heart your heart space is being renewed okay and I, and I just heard some construction noises out the back and yeah possibly you're being renewed reconstructed a lot of things I'm hearing yeah from the ground up amazing ten of wands this has possibly been a long hard journey this is not easy holding on and there's something you're holding on to yeah okay let's have a look at some more heart cards over here Hold on, see are these all gonna fit. Do we have room? Yeah, I think we do. There we go. Let's do that. Oh, that's much better. Oh. All right. Change, yes, yes, yes. And it's a change for the better, all right? Your heart is wanting you to go in, in the direction of, yes, everything wants you to go in the direction of your heart. It feels like, even though it's tough, and even though there's some kind of massive transformation that's taking place, we'll look at all this. We'll see. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Libra, yeah, partnerships, look at that. That is incredible. The weighing scales, right? Libra, partnership, seventh house, marriage, all this kind of thing. And you've got the lovers here twice. And I feel like you're at this point in life, but we do this. You're at this point in life where, where I feel like you do have a bit of time to pause and you do have time to reflect. There's so much change going on and this is, this is, uh, to do with like long, old, long standing stuff, possibly from childhood. This is long. So the transformation that's happening within your heart space is huge right now. Absolutely huge. And in some ways, you might feel like a student again. Because with all this renewal and the fact that your heart is becoming new again there are going to be things to learn but there's something you're holding on to and perhaps in the past relationships were more driven by your mind perhaps you always had to be masked you know Look at that. It's like she is herself, but he's not himself. He looks like this bird with a top hat. He is not himself. And I think that's what this massive transformation is about. This massive transformation is about you becoming your authentic self. And you're moving into the sun. You're moving into being the sun so wherever the sun is in your chart you need to express that more 
and be that. Find out what are the good qualities in your sun placement and express those more. That would be a really good thing to do at this time. But in the past, perhaps you were in relationships where you had to be masked, you couldn't be your true self. Possibly there wasn't equal give and take. And that forced you many times to have to walk away. You had to walk away because the dynamic wasn't right or it wasn't fair or there wasn't equal give and take. You've had to walk away. And I'm interested in how much of your past relationships, for example, have been kind of driven by the mind as opposed to being led by the heart, led naturally by the heart. And I think there's something about you allowing the heart to lead you, which is scary. And there's, so there's something you're holding on to, which is really interesting. What are you holding on to? Let's take a look. Let's take a card for that. Take one of these. Oh, we're running out of time as well. Let's have a look. What are you holding on to? What are you holding on to? Yeah, it's a strong mind. Oh, wow, look at that and the Empress. See? Okay. <laughs> this is so good. Because she's definitely over here. That's the heart, right? So, but you, what you're holding on to is you're holding on to the mind. You're holding on to control, the mind, the power of the mind you know, being rational, all that. But your heart, I think, and we're, I'm going to read her, not as the relationship that you're going to, this is not that. This is, so you're holding on to a strong mind here. And possibly the old ways, the old ways that, you know, maybe you think they always worked, that, that worked. But you're being asked to embrace your feminine side more and let the heart lead let your guides your angels show you the way this is all go with the flow this is you know embracing your feminine side so whether you're masculine or lady or whatever you have to embrace your feminine side and sometimes this can be hard for women to do you know like if if women and you can see this in in a lady's child if she's got a lot of strong masculine energies She's always doing things and, you know, I don't know, whatever, like <laughs> busy working, 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 that kind of thing. But you're being asked to explore your feminine side, to embrace your feminine side, to go with the flow, to, and look at, look at how vast, vastly different these two are. This is mastery over the mental body, you know, the mind. This is mind mastery. This is, you know, you're the genius. You're, and that's great, right? So you are that and you're very bright and very intelligent and that's fantastic. And that has worked really well for you, possibly your whole life. And you've possibly used this, as we can see, you've possibly used this in relationships as well but it's like you're being asked to put this down to stop holding on to this and to embrace your feminine side to embrace your creativity to embrace resting receiving being vulnerable not having a plan not knowing what's coming next this has changed this is like a, a totally new way of being totally new way of being and if you follow this what comes I'm going to draw another card what are we going to oh do you know what why don't we have one of these why don't we I was thinking should I use this today let's use it this is the stoic this will give us a little quote as well and that'll lead nicely into those quotes so let's see all right so if you let's say you embrace your feminine side more you go with the flow you relax, 
you play, you're being creative, you're happy, you don't have a plan, you're not living to deadlines and you know all this mental stuff, right? You're just going to put that down and we're doing this now. Okay, we're in the heart space, what's going on? In the heart space, we're happy, we're flowing. Oh, oh look at that, Ten of Cups. Wow, did that want to be here. Look at that, love and Page of Cups, a new beginning in love. This is beautiful. Gosh, this is amazing. I love doing these readings. <laughs> so amazing what happens. Look at that, and it's fine if everything's a mess. Don't worry if it's a mess. Enjoy this. You've got love on the table. Look at this. You've got the Ten of Cups, and you've got the Page of Cups. If you embrace your feminine side, and you're going to have Libra relationships, your relationships are going to be brand new. They're going to be different. They're not going to be like how they were in the past. And this is long-standing, old, old dynamics and patterns that you're breaking down. And some of that's going to be painful. Some of that's going to be really hard. Some of it's going to be, you know, it's really difficult. Okay, so let's have the quote here. It says here, He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. Beautiful. You know, you become this person when the the glass is half full you're happy about it being half full wonderful and we've got here a page of cups oh i do like this yeah a ship should not ride on a single anchor nor life on a single hope that's good i like that and i like that because in this world when you get this right everything's going wonderfully it, it's not just you're not just depending on one relationship to bring you happiness it's like when you're here in that empress mode and your feminine energy is radiant and beautiful and flowing and you're being creative and you're happy and you know you're not stuck in the mind when all that's going great your family life improves your relationship with your children improves your work improves you know and yeah, you'll have so many wonderful relationships around you. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And Libra, this is relationships. This is the other. Okay, so it can be any other. And there's lots of others, you know, in our lives. Oh, let's take them. Gosh, this is going to be a long reading. I'll have to, that's at the 15 minute mark, I'll have to start another thingy. Oh, so many. But, well, we don't want that many. No, we'll take this, this, and that. Okay, put those back. <laughs> I don't want to be too greedy. All right, and I'll start this again if it cuts out. Let's see, what do we have here? Without respect, love is lost. Without caring, love is boring. Without honesty, love is unhappy. Without trust, love is unstable. Yeah. And this is a really good quote for this spread because this is very much about kind of mind and heart, you know, because this is like a nice balance of mind or ego and heart energy. You know, we do have to be intelligent in relationships, you know. You have to do both. You have to do both. So, so this is all about finding balance and we've got this Libra card here you're coming into a time where you're going to be so much more balanced in your relationships you know and, and this is balance between ego and heart that's what you're coming into wonderful all right let's see what else we've got here changed behavior is the only apology Otherwise, it's just manipulation. Yeah, amazing. Oh, I see it's not cutting out at the 16 minute mark. Do you know why? It's because I didn't change the camera setting. Okay, that's fine. Amazing. Changed behavior is the only apology. Well, and you are changing. You have to. <laughs> With these, the appearance of these two cards here, And we've covered this up. We know, we know what you're doing here. You're holding on to the mind. You're holding on to mind stuff. It could also be holding on to the past as well. And that's all right. When you let go, a 
whole new world is going to open up. And that's all you have to do. Let's have a look what this is. Oh, I love this. I want to see what happens if I don't give up. Yeah, that's it. And you're not giving up because you've got this. See, I can be such a weak person. I can give up easily. I don't know, but is it giving up and letting go and giving freedom or what? I don't know. But I do like people who hang in there, you know. Gosh. And that's this card here. That's the Ten of Wands. That is such an asset. I want to see what happens if I don't give up. And that is heroic. To keep going, to not give up. Amazing reading, group number one. And look how many cards have come out. So many. This has been huge. So I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And I am a little bit behind on comments, by the way, guys. I will hopefully get on top of that this week. But thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. Group number one ended up being quite long and that's because I didn't change the camera setting. So normally I film these at 50 frames a second so that they appear really nice and sharp on the screen. But what I've decided is I'll just keep it at the smaller rate and let's just have longer reading today. So I can vary it. You know, sometimes we can do a shorter reading today. We'll just, we'll just go long for everybody. I'm kind of drawing extra cards as well. So let's see what comes. So we're going to look at ego versus the heart. And this is going to be, we've got some ego cards on the table. We're going to have a look at some heart cards, see what's going on. I hope your week has been good wherever you are. By the way, I forgot to mention in group one, I am, um, whoops, I am selling some cards on my website. So do go and take a look. You might find a bargain. I'm also going to do a little three card. Um, see, I'm terrible at multitasking. I, I will also do a three card pull per deck sold. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, so yeah, so that way, you know, you get some handwritten something or other. I'm selling the cards because, um, I am going to be heading back to England and yeah, I've got new decks arriving and I'm, I'm short on space. <laughs> so having to get organized basically. And it's nice to be able to kind of plan this far ahead. Normally when I book a flight, I'm doing it just, you know, the few weeks before I'm going. But this has been an interesting certain transit for me. I've had time to think and plan ahead, which is really nice. Okay, let's see what's going on. All right, so let's take a look at the ego cards before we get into, that's going to be the heart. These are the heart. This, these are the ego. Okay, what have we got here? Ooh, oh wow, the Ace of Cups. What an intro. Great. Beautiful start. Okay. <laughs> Well, I think you're, well, let's have a look. <laughs> I want to see the other cards first. See the mind cranked up. So I'm like, okay, well, these are mind ego cards. So let's, let's do this. Seven of coins. Wow. You're reassessing as well. Seven of pentacles. Okay. Same as group one. Six of wands, victory. Beautiful. All right, Five of Swords, Conflict, yeah. And I think this could be in a conflict. Because there's so much beauty here. The success. All right, and, and, and you're taking time to reassess, to look, but there's the Ace of Cups. So it's like you've got a very loving mind. Or a mind that love spirituality and, and you know you don't need convincing you're there you're spiritual you're you're on board 
maybe the inner conflict could be to do with people around you who who don't believe as you do or who aren't there you know who are taking their time what about your heart okay so now i think this is the knight of pentacles yeah yep okay knight of pentacles Oh wow, again, Five of Swords, right. So there is some conflict going on here for sure. Okay. And the Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. Let's have a look and see what's going on here. Transformation, yep. Sagittarius. Okay, interesting. I'm definitely getting some this 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 could be very specific for someone out there and this could be to do with father or authority figure. And there's some kind of conflict or there's some conflict to do with authority and this is about money. This is about money. So if this is too specific, maybe you might want to choose another group. Let's see if we go a bit more general here. Hmm. I'm going to shuffle another. What do I want to find out? I want to find out more. I'll get a clarifier on Sagittarius. Let's see. The Knight of Wands, two knights. Hmm. There's definitely some kind of conflict going on in your world at the moment. I'll put this here and I'll draw another one from here. Because I've got a few ideas in my head, but I'm not completely sure. The star, yes. That is confirming one of the things that I'm thinking. There's something about your presence in this situation, which is really, really, really good and needed. It's kind of like you're going to save the day in this situation. This could also be to do with masculine energy. This doesn't have to be to do strictly just with father. This could be a partner, this could be a sibling, this could be even like an adult child or something like that. This could be a lot of different people. But there's definitely a conflict. It's about money. And I get the sense that there's something about your energy that is that is helping and healing everything and you're helping the people around you transform at this time what's the guidance for you okay so now i've got a couple of extra decks that i didn't even use this one in Let's see this is interesting i have never used this deck <laughs> it's tiny i got it at a furniture shop here in australia uh, here in sydney let's have a look all right, let's take that. I have no idea what that's going to do. Let's take let's take a couple from the Stoic deck as well, and I'll look at those together. What's the guidance for you? There's something about you being here, and these are, like this conflict is happening. It's something to do with people you love or you're involved with, and there's something about your presence being here that 
is going to make everything okay or and that you're bringing healing to this situation something along these lines this is so interesting and and this has this has been very difficult for me to get a hold on so i also think that mm, yes i want to draw one more here okay let me <laughs> this has been interesting okay is yeah I'm going to ask the question silently in my head and just see what comes. Yeah, there's something about the people in this situation or person in this situation. They are, they're masked. They're kind of offline. We've got the Four of Swords here. There's something about their energies that they're somebody that's quite um, able to be under the radar or something like that. I don't know. But you're this incredible bright light. You're going to be bringing healing. We've drawn that and we'll take another two. This, so this is for you. So let's get, where is this? Wow, what an interesting reading. This has been really interesting. Please let me know in the comments below if this is you. Because this, this could be so specific. This could be like one or two people. So that's for you. And I want to draw one more for you as well. I'll take that one. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh my gosh. Ordinary riches can be stolen. Real riches cannot. Far out. This really is about money. Oh my gosh. In your soul are infinitely precious things that cannot be taken from you. Oscar Wilde. See, you know this and that's why you're cool. You're totally fine. But there's some money, money conflict going on around you. Or it could be a conflict around assets or resources or sharing something or and there's some troublemaking energy here that's quite good at being under the radar <clears throat> the other thing is yeah they're good at kind of going offline uh interesting okay and let's see what else we've got i wonder what these are going to be about how exciting page of wands okay did we have a no we don't what a knight of wands but this is you page of wands where your talents and the needs of the world cross, there lies your vocation, Aristotle. Mm. Where your talents and the needs of the world cross. It's like you are needed in this situation. It's really interesting with the seven of coins here. There's so much fire because this is earth. It's like you're the, you, you are the light. in the, You're real. You're honest. You're the light in this situation. Hmm, interesting. Okay, and let's take, yeah, Queen of Wands. Look at that. Oh, wow. Education is about the kindling of a flame, not the filling of a vessel. Socrates, this is so interesting. You've got two fire cards. You've got fire depicted on a traditional earth card, right? And you, you are the light. You are the Ace of Cups. You're brightly lit. We've got a lot of bright colors here. We've got the star, which is healing. We've got success. So because you are in this situation, there's something you you are doing or bringing to this situation that because you're there, things are going to be okay. That's amazing. And this card just blew my mind as well. Ordinary riches can be stolen. Real riches cannot. Fascinating. Oh, do let me know in the comments below what this situation is. I'd, I'd love to know. But it, I tell you, this has been hard to read. And this was supposed to be the heart section, and that was supposed to be the ego. But isn't this amazing? This has kind of turned into a little bit of something else here. And because I'm getting a lot of confirmation that your heart, because this, is, this to me is actually you, and this to me is somebody or some people around you that are in a process of transformation this is kind of yeah gone off script here <laughs> i'm glad it did how interesting okay we'll take we'll take two and we'll see if we need another one we might not need another one wow okay let's see what comes out here them what do you find attractive me self-awareness boundaries respect safety honesty clear communication kindness compassion 
vulnerability and authenticity at Millennial Therapist. And I think that because this is some situation where you are dealing with some difficult other or others and I'm getting the phrase like you should expect the best. It's like keep keep the bar high, something like that, you know, and, and need them to come up to you. They need to evolve up to you. Something like this is what's coming through from that. Okay, interesting. What have we got here? Do not, okay, we've got some Marcus Aurelius. Do not act as if you have 10,000 years to throw away. Death walks with you arm in arm. Be good while you live and when you can. You're completely doing that. You're, you're totally the, the good person in this situation, keeping things together and possibly helping these person, people heal, transform, something along these lines. It might take time for the transformation to occur. And that's okay. Because, well, yeah, because, well, but you realize we don't have that much time, yeah. Hmm, it's this, these, this person, these people who don't know this. That's okay. I'll take one more. This is Sadhguru. The sign of intelligence is that you are constantly wondering. Idiots are always dead sure about every damn thing they are doing in their life. Yeah, I, I think, and this is, again, like, look at the, this is the top line, <laughs> that's you. And then this is there. Isn't that incredible? There's like a mirroring going on. And look, I mean, these, these aren't idiots. They are just unconscious and in need of evolution and they need to come up to to where you are so just keep keep being the bright light that you are holding the space that hey you guys are kind of going to come up and be where i am kind of thing so keep going group number two you're doing amazing you are the light in this difficult situation and i get the feeling that your angels guides are massively impressed by you and proud of you as well so keep going let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. This has been fascinating. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. What a reading we just had in group two. That was amazing. I wonder what you're going to have group three. Now we kind of went off the script of, or off the structure of what I thought we were going to deal with in uh, group two. Let's see what happens for you. So th these cards I'm shuffling are for the ego or the mind, what's going on in the mental space. And then we're going to draw some heart cards and see what comes. The other thing I wanted to make mention, which I forgot to let you all know in group one, but um, I'm doing a little tarot deck sale on my website. So do go and have a look. And if you buy one of the decks from me, I will do a three card pull and do a little handwritten reading for you as well. So come and check that out. Cause that is, uh, yeah, I, I'm just trying to get organized and lighten my load a little bit for when I head on back to the other mother country. <laughs> I have many mother countries. I think the whole world is like, I used to want to like go around the world and collect all the passports, but I don't think you're allowed. Oh, let's take it. Wheel of Fortune. Come on, let's take it. Definitely. That's good. That's for the heart space. Ooh, what's going on? So we've got mind and we've got heart. We're going to have mind and we're going to have heart here. I'm drawing extra cards as well. These are quite long readings. Now, what do I want? One of these. Okay. And the other thing is I forgot to change the setting on my, so if these are a bit pixelated, you'll know why I'm not shooting these at uh, 50 frames per second. 
think that's what that is, FPS, I don't know. All right, let's get one from here. I am definitely going overboard on the card situation. <laughs> Just getting lots of them. Um, one more. I think maybe next week I'll go back to fewer cards. I mean, fewer cards can, can give an elegant sort of a reading. It depends on the energy as well. In group two, we needed a lot of cards. That was big energy. Okay. Right. What's going on? Oh, it's a bit high. Um, oh, nice. The four of wands. I'm so glad. <laughs> We need some like some peaceful energy. This is beautiful. Yeah, this is a beautiful, happy card. This is happy home, happy life, happy life, happy wife. Look at these two here, all that kind of thing. Oh, good, great start. Seven of discs. Get out. We just had this. I think in the same spot in group two. That's amazing. Okay, perseverance. Right, a bit of a keep going message. Oh, three of swords, sorrow. Okay. The chariot, wow. Seven, okay. This is what's going on in the mind space and the mental body here. Let's take a look at what's going on in the heart space. Wow, we've got the lovers. Okay. got the three of wands and you got the wheel of fortune now I'm not exactly sure where this belongs I might shuffle these a bit Let's see what else is going on purity nice with two different colors How fascinating okay Aquarius mmm well, these are interesting energies here. Let's have a think. I kind of get the sense that like in terms of your mind and mental body and you know, the, the stories you have in your head and all that kind of thing. I think you're clearing out old heartbreak you're m literally moving it out. So we've got movement here with the chariot. And it's like these old ideas about relationships. I think you're taking time to pause and reflect because you know ultimately you want to create this. You want to create this happy home where there's just love and laughter and good times and great food and you know, it's got a bit of a party-like feel to it, doesn't it? And these beings are all flocking in and you, know, you want to create a beautiful thing now. And I think you're clearing out old ideas, old concepts of relationships. You're like, well, and I think ideally you're seeing yourself. Like, so you're looking at where where you haven't done it right. Because maybe there isn't someone in your life at the moment. And so you're looking back at past relationships and looking at, okay, what, what was my part in those things not working out? Because we've got Aquarius here, we've got this very independent energy. Aquarians, they, uh, what's the phrase? There's a joke about this. It's like they love, mm, they love, humanity but don't like people <laughs> right so that is one of the jokes about Aquarians there was um, another joke that somebody made about what are Aquarians like when it comes to their love life and it was something like um, their idea of love life is oh I'll google you tomorrow like you know that kind of thing so yeah Aquarius is can be Aquarius is very independent it's a very independent energy that needs some freedom, that needs some space. But it's like your heart wants love. And in your heart space is like room 
for that other person. Let's say you are with someone. What I would say here, so the, I, I am reading this as a kind of single person's reading actually. So if you are single, it kind of feels like you're clearing out old ideas about love. You're, you're moving these old ideas out. You're taking time to pause and reflect because your heart is kind of longing for love. I do see that here. And I think there's a change on the horizon. This is what the change is. And which way this goes, does that go here? I mean, there's a change on the horizon. It's like, I think you're going to be in partnership. And that's beautiful. Now, if you are with someone, how would, how would I read this? I think it's about achieving a balance possibly between independence and being with someone. It's about finding that right balance. Purity. That's interesting. Why don't I draw one from here? I haven't. I'll clarify this with one from here. I haven't used this deck too much. Okay, what's going on there with purity? Oh, let's take that. Oh, <laughs> not too many. All right. Oh, how wonderful. Pleasure. Yeah. Wow, this is nice. It's a really soft energy and it's like, and there's a tenderness because I, like, I suppose there's a broken heart, you know, like, and you're probably repairing this strengthening it up i think that's what's going on you're getting ready to love again and that's wonderful and there's no rush you know because do you know it's funny i was thinking about this card today because this is about i was thinking about this card in context of my tarot decks because i've sent the designs out and they're being printed in america and they're going to come back and so this is like your ships are coming back. You know, it's like what what's coming back? What's coming back in? Is there something coming back in or someone maybe could be like that? But I think you know that it's it's important to yeah, because well what you send out, you know, will will come back in. And that's why you're doing the work of clean, cleaning up the heart space or clearing up the heart space. And one thing I've, I've been doing, I've been reading a couple of uh, books by this guy called Chuck Spezzano. And that has been helping me kind of look at the emotional body. And I'll put the name on the screen of the one I'm currently reading because I finished the other one, which was Heaven and Earth, something or other. I finished that one, so I'm on to another one now. They're just really nice books he puts together. Yeah, I've got some in England, which I'll go home to and reread. <laughs> read and reread. That's how I learn everything. See what else is going on here. Health does not always come from medicine. Most of the time it comes from peace of mind, peace in heart, peace of soul. It comes from laughter and love. Isn't that incredible? Because just earlier I was saying that you know you want to create this this home of, of filled with laughter, love and laughter, isn't it? You know, good times, good food, people coming in. You know, you want to create this now. Or more of your energy is going to creating this or improving your home. This another message that's coming through in this spread is about improving the physical body as well. Okay, because the body is your home and the seven of discs this is earth we can look at this because this here says health does not always come from medicine exactly this is about health as well this is a health reading too this is a physical body reading this doesn't necessarily have to be so let's for, even just forget about relationships this isn't about relationships this is about this could be about loving the physical body and getting your physical space ready for the new and that includes your body and that includes health and healing. And perhaps at this time you are getting a renewal of health in your physical body. 
And I know for me, that is definitely one of the things that's been happening um, for me. I've been noticing how much my health, my physical health has improved since I came to, to Sydney. My health has improved in leaps and bounds. I was telling friends of mine that I haven't taken paracetamol since last April. Like for me, that's epic because you know, I've been taking stuff like my whole life. So yeah, it's, you know. And that is, that, that's perseverance, that's, that's, that's work, that's work on the self, and that's purity, that's cleaning up, cleaning up the physical body, cleaning up the physical space. I think because we've got here, and this is quite a physical cup, Four of Wands always has this beautiful home, beautiful house in it. So this might be a time of either looking after the physical body, clutter clearing your home, clutter clearing your space, you know, moving out old energies or things that you no longer need, that you, you move those on, because a big time of change is coming for you. There's some kind of big change. And it, this could be, oh my gosh, when is it going to be? Of course, it's going to be when Saturn moves into Aquarius. So we're talking Jan, Feb next year, the wheel turns and you're entering a new realm. And you've got to get ready for that now. There's something about you've got to, you know, this, what can you be doing now? We don't have long to go before this clicks and turns and moves and changes. And I think in the meantime, relax, pleasure, enjoy, you know, treat yourself. You've probably been working hard. Oh, this is great. Yes, that is the summation of this spread. My alone feels so good. I'll only have you if you're sweeter than my solitude. Yeah, that's great. That's exactly what this is because you're Aquarius. You're independent. You do your own thing, you know, like let's say, for example, like that's, but that's the energy that's being brought to the fore. Everybody's got independence within them. Everyone's got this Aquarian part of them, you know, and, and that's what's being shown significantly in this reading. So if you've clicked on this, you know, this, this would have something for you right now. That's a great quote for exactly what's going on here. Let's take one more and then we'll and then we'll wrap it up oh we've got this one looks kind of looks kind of big here well, it's got two folds it's got a lot of words in it Let's see what we've got as long as we're rejecting ourselves and causing harm to our bodies and minds there's no point in talking about loving and accepting others yeah and you're doing exactly this work. This spread is showing me that you're, you either have done or are doing this work. You're looking after your physical self. You're wanting to, you know, clean up either your physical space or your physical body, you know, and this is about kind of the wheel's going to turn and this might be something, maybe you move, maybe you move home, maybe you... Um, do a massive improvement to your home or something like that or something about your health massively clears up because maybe you figure something out about your health and how to how to shift things fascinating group three but there's such a calm energy here as well there's calm loving just sweetness this is good this is really great and I would say the presence of this uh, three of swords here is just that's just that's just old stuff that you're growing beyond you know and that's good wow well group number three this is the shortest of the readings because I think your energy is actually very clear and uh, you know it's time to time to enjoy something some relaxation you know whatever it is whatever it is that you love to do do that do more of that and yeah that's the reading for today all right well let me know how you got on in the comments below i would love to hear from you and as always i look forward to seeing you next time mm -hmm.